Members, the question is the motion be agreed. The Honourable Kyle McGinn. And thank you to the Honourable Sophia Mormont for bringing such a great motion to this House of Debate. Um, what a really uh, interesting and uh, there's so much history um, in WA, which I'll get into in my speech. Um, but firstly, I need to correct a few wrongs that have been said already um, by the Honourable Neil Thompson, um, which is quite usual. But um, look, firstly, what, what I have heard rumours getting around is that uh, the Liberal Party is starting to crowdfund. Um, to get a new satellite, which will find uh, Melissa Price and Rick Wilson, because because they have been missing in action for Western Australia for so long, for so long, missing in action, um, particularly in the space, the space space, because you know the Honourable Neil Thompson imploring, imploring on the, the state government to get involved. Well, you and your federal colleagues have done diddly squat. Mate, absolutely diddly. It is unbelievable when we've got Melissa Price, Melissa Price, who when was Environment Minister wanted to build trees. Don't know how you build trees. I think she wanted to get plastic and build some trees. Um, you've also got Rick Wilson, who when his electorate spoke on uh, uh, same-sex marriage, he decided not to even vote at all. Missing in action. Didn't even go into the chamber. Absolutely disgraceful. So it is not surprising to me that they were missing in action back in 2018 when there was over $700 million worth of funding to start up a space HQ here in Australia. Where were the Liberal Party, the Honourable Neil Thompson? Where were they? They were in South Australia. They were in South Australia. They were down in South Australia. Order. Fighting Order. For the Order. I'd also suggest the Honourable Member not invite interjections, but continue to focus on the content of the Thank you, President. Um, look, I assure you uh, that uh, um, I will try my best, but it's, ha it's hard not to. It's hard not to when you've he heard some woeful, woeful lies come from the opposition um, around their lacklustre approach to space. Let's be honest. Now the motion's here. Now the motion's on the floor. The Honourable Neil Thompson wants to beat his chest. But uh, where was he in 2018? when his colleagues over east were more excited about South Australia than WA. It was absolutely disgraceful. We missed out on over $700 million worth of funding in a HQ space, which would have been spectacular up in the Murchison region. Oh, I get a bit upset because his colleagues are still missing in action here in 2021. Um, build a, uh, a ship here has decided that they're not going to build. Ah, yes, the submarines, yes, yes. And no, we, no, not oh, the ship, submarines, yeah, and the ships. ship. They Order. It, Order. it never surprises me that uh, our federal uh, Liberals um, that are supposed to be representing WA are missing in action constantly. I can't wait, I cannot wait for the Liberal Party to get their Crown funding together and get their own satellite to find their members. Now, now uh, getting on to more important facts on the motion. Um, one of my favourite places in my electorate to go to is Carnarvon um, and people that have driven up to Carnarvon before, um, you will notice as you're driving in a massive satellite that's set up. Oh, here Order. we go, here we go. Some more dribble coming. Um, Order. So Order. you going to talk? Or? Order, members. I'm having difficulty hearing the Honourable Member and that is coming from interference on both sides of the chamber. The Honourable Carl McGinn. Thank you, uh, Deputy President. I appreciate the uh, protection. It's, uh, it's very, uh, very nice of you. Um, but look, uh, yeah, so coming into Carnarvon, you can see <coughs> massive satellite as you come in there. The, the history up there uh, and the role that Australia played, um, particularly during the um, Gemini, Apollo and Skylab missions, is... Uh, is huge. Uh, there was the first, uh, it's called the Sugar sc Scoop uh, satellite, is uh, the slang for it, but it's the Cashorn antenna, which was built in 1964, and it was actually the first televised uh, TV program sent across to London, um, which was phenomenal. But then in 1969, it was used as a tracking station. Now, um, I was honoured in 2018 to go up to Carnarvon with the Minister, uh, uh, Minister Dave Kelly uh, to go to the 50th anniversary. And it was unbelievable to see all the old workers of the tracking station there and the stories that they had to tell were phenomenal. Um, we've seen over 220 jobs created over that tracking station project, which 
um, did, a, did some multiple things. It, it also helped with televising um, uh, Armstrong's first step onto the moon, but there was a critical point within the transit to the moon where nowhere else in the world could they actually get hold of um, and track the, uh, the, the rocket. So Australia was at one point the only place in the world that could actually hold that tracking. Um, which was critical to ensure where they were and how far away they were from getting to the moon. Um, it was quite funny at the event. They really put it on in Carnarvon, I tell you. There was uh, the kids from the local school dressed up in uh, blow-up astronaut, astronaut suits getting around. Um, there was, uh, uh, as I said, the workers that had worked on the space station telling stories about how all the Americans that were there at the time basically uh, stimulated the economy of Carnarvon. Um, and uh, I think they even sold Dr Pepper at the shops down there at the time as well, um, and really grabbed hold of that project. And it's now become a real fabric of Carnarvon. When you go up that way, you're heading to Exmouth, um, and you have young children particularly. Um, there is now the uh, Carnarvon Space and Tech Museum, which, uh, if you haven't been to, uh, Honourable Member, I strongly suggest going. Um, it is uh, a, a really good experience. They have um, a full-size Apollo capsule, um, which they uh, get you in and they strap you in and they get all the sounds and everything going and it feels like you're about to take off, um, which, is, which is really good for the kids. They enjoy that. We've got a planetarium, uh, space theatre, museum displays, interactive displays where you can get involved. Um, they've got a lot of old memorabilia from the tracking station. What was quite interesting um, when you delve into the history of when it moved away was that um, sort of... Uh, it was 10 kilometres out of town, the tracking station, and instead of leaving these facilities here for Australia to utilise, I think there must have been some sort of conversations uh, in some government at some time during that period, but they actually bulldozed it all and uh, buried it. Um, and obviously, if we go back to that era, you could imagine what type of materials were being used. Um, so there's a bit of an issue with that old site. Um, so you don't actually get to go and have a look at that area where the tracking station was. But 4 k's up, as you're heading back into Carnarvon, is where the museum is. And they try their absolute best on the smell of an oily rag to operate this thing and get a lot of in-kind donations and um, are also working with, I believe, Canada at the moment on how they can utilise the satellite with an upgrade uh, to go into future space projects as well. Um, it, it really is uh, a tribute to that area um, that they continue to operate and sell the history um, and also lots of goodies at the shop. Don't, they don't miss you. I'll tell you, you walk out of there with a NASA shirt and a NASA hat and everything else and you feel like a... That's right, in the spacesuit. That's what you had, Minister. I remember that, and uh, and you, you feel like a, a, a spaceman for a day, and um, it's uh, it's pretty cool. Uh, not a space cadet, honourable member, a spaceman, um, but uh, all Aussie adventures. It's time to hit the road. Um, so, uh, also want to touch on uh, the Murchison, um, Kalgoorlie, and Lake Ballard. Um, phenomenal areas uh, for uh, looking into the space uh, sector. Um, I know that uh, uh, the Honourable Peter Foster will have a few things to say around uh, Mount Magnet, um, but uh, I'm a huge supporter of the Astro Rocks Fest that they have up there, um, which just gives you the opportunity and, as uh, the Honourable Member will uh, say in his speech, I believe. So um, uh, Lake Ballard, if anyone's been out to Lake Ballard, it is unbelievable at night times. You can see just open skies. I do know that the city of Kalgoorlie Boulder was working on a tourism plan around having this uh, zone where they could uh, deem it as an astro-tourism zone. So it's the best place for people with their uh, thousands of dollars worth of equipment to look up into the sky at certain parts of the year. Um, it, is, uh, it is probably one of the best set areas. I, I do remember writing a letter to the Minister, uh, Minister Kelly in 2018, begging that Kalgoorlie gets the Space HQ, um, to which he acknowledged. But uh, uh, unfortunately, as I said earlier, South Australia seemed to scoop that one up, um, which is really disappointing, because not only do you got the Murchison with these beautiful, clear skies, um, Carnarvon, um, Kalgoorlie, Lake Ballard, all out in that area, there, there is so much opportunity. And I think South Australia 
has really uh, taken the cookie office in this respect, and it's disappointing. And I hope into the future we have better representation in the federal government that actually care about their region, um, because that will in turn uh, give us a better outcome from federal funding. So once again, thank you very much to the Honourable Sophia Mormont. This is a very uh, admirable motion to put up, and I look forward to the space race in WA into the future.